I've written extensively on how to visualize and the actual steps. This is actually the easy part. The hard part is developing the discipline to do it on a regular basis. Now, in my work with athletes, I've discovered that those who don't do it much, it's because they're basically not convinced that it'll actually improve their performance. They are convinced that physical practice, training, drills will improve their performance, and so they do that. Now, think about this for a minute. You're driving a car, and you want to go from here to there, right? And you get a flat tire, and the, the car doesn't drive well anymore. You are 100% convinced that if you fix the tire, the car will drive again and get you to your, your destination. Therefore, you stop everything you're doing and you fix the tire. Action always happens in this case. Now, in the case of visualization practice or mental practice, you can see now that it's not the how or the resources to do this action, it's the why. So here's three huge reasons for why you should practice visualization to improve your performance. One, the greatest athletes in the world have told us it works. Follow their example. Quote, before every shot, I go to the movies. Jack Nicklaus, all-time greatest golfer. Quote, some guys need to see things on a grease board. I like when you can see it in your mind. And that's what Marvin does too. He visualizes, he sees things in his mind so well, unquote. That's from Peyton Manning, American football quarterback. Quote, I visualized where I wanted to be, what kind of player I wanted to become. I knew exactly where I wanted to go and I focused on getting there. Michael Jordan, one of the greatest basketball players. Quote, I imagined my biceps as big as mountain peaks when I did my curling exercises. This visualization process was essential if I was to gain the kind of mass and size I needed to win the Mr. Olympia contest. That was Arnold Schwarzenegger, bodybuilder, seven time Mr. Olympia. Quote, I've been visualizing myself every night for the past four years, standing on the podium, having the gold placed around my neck. Megan Kwan, two Olympic gold medals in swimming. Quote, in the weeks before the Olympics, Mary Lou often lay in her bed with her eyes closed and let her imagination romp. She would visualize herself on each piece of equipment, performing her best routines and hitting every move perfectly, unquote. That was George Sullivan writing on Mary Lou Retton, an Olympic gold medal gymnast. Is that enough? Reason number two, it boosts confidence. Where does confidence come from? It comes from a belief that you can achieve something. The stronger the belief, the greater the confidence and the feelings that flow from that. Now, the most obvious way to have that belief is if you have already successfully achieved that something beforehand, right? If you've done it in your mind over and over again, you'll make the belief stronger with each mental success. How confident would you be if you had a lot of success in the past and actually coming through in clutch situations, right? No, well, you can do that in your head in advance of the real competition very easily and simply. You see, the brain and nervous system do not know the difference between a real and a vividly imagined event. Visualization is something that is overlooked a lot. It's another tool that can give you that added confidence. Through visualization, you can simplify the game. It can free your mind to focus on one or two things so you can be that much more comfortable. It's on par with work ethic and one of the more important parts of my game. Evan Longoria, Major League Baseball player said that. Third reason, it's time efficient. Visualization allows you to get in more reps in practice than you can in real life. Quote, when I visualize the dive in my head, I can see it in slow motion. I was able to take the dive apart and memorize it step by step. Greg Louganis, four Olympic gold medals. 
You see, every athlete knows that the more you practice and drill on the correct movements and skills in your sport, the more likely that your best performances will be automatic in competition. It's reps. When we perform anything, physical or mental, the same way, multiple times, the body lays down a chemical called myelin along the nervous pathways that make that action happen. Myelin makes it easier for us to repeat the performance the next time. The more repetitions, the more myelin is laid down on the nerves. The more myelin, the easier it is to be consistent. Now this is why repetition is so important to sports performance. You already know that. But athletes only have so much time in the week for every type of repetition of skills that they need to practice, right? This is where visualization or mental practice can supplement the real practice and it lays down myelin just the same. You can practice your skills lying in bed as you fall asleep. You can do drills in your mind while on a car ride. You can do it anywhere, anytime, and you will be getting in more reps to solidify your skills. I have a friend, Tom Mitchell, who is a sports psychologist and has worked with some of the greatest athletes on earth like Joe Montana, Chris Mullen, and many more. He also served as the mental coach for the NBA Golden State Warriors for years, and he teaches sports psychology in college. When I asked him what is the one thing that lower level athletes lack that elite athletes do, he told me they don't visualize enough. So do what elite athletes do to get to your next level of sports success using mental practice and visualization. Let's do this. I'm Craig Sigal, your mental toughness trainer.